One week of learning Blender in 5 minutes. So as you guys probably know, I never used Blender before and all the games that I've made was actually pre-made assets and models. So I decided to jump ahead and learn something new. And since Blender is a great tool and in addition also free, I decided to use it and this was my one week progress of Blender. How the f do I start a new project? And as you saw me struggling right there, I went to search some beginner tutorials and learn some basics. So I watched some videos done by a lot of awesome people where I stopped on this hammer tutorial. So I followed along with it and learned a lot of keyboard shortcuts doing that, which took about 30 minutes to finish it, if I remember right. And this is how my first Blender model was looking like. It was really fun making it, so I decided to try what I've learned from that tutorial and maybe make a resembling item model. And my choice landed on making an axe, which was a perfect option to applicate what I've learned. And I really liked the end result, it wasn't bad. On Tuesday I started by making some texture for the hammer model that I've made yesterday and I actually was surprised by the capability of Blender. And this is how the end result was looking like, after playing around with the lighting. This is amazing, like you can see, and if I go back to Blender and go to rendering engine view, I can see the model from the different sides. I found those fast tutorials by CG Geek, so I followed one of them which was about making a rock, which ended up not that bad actually, it had some nice shading and textures. On Thursday I wanted to make the popular 3D model between all the modeling softwares a low poly well. I had a tutorial to help me, but the good news, I start feeling that I'm getting used to Blender, and things are no more that complicated. So this is the base of the low poly well, it took some time to finish, but it's now ready and it's time to move to texturing, so for the shading I didn't use some crazy textures, since it's a low poly, I just used some basic colors. And after playing around with it, I ended up with this, well it still can have a lot of improvements, but yeah, I will just leave it as it is. On Thursday I started by modeling a house and I also decided to stick to the low poly, as I really like that kind of model. Because now if I'm going to use or make any models for my games in the future, they are going to be a low poly, because it takes way less time, easier, and I also like how it looks, more likely a cartoony style. So yeah, this is how it ended up, definitely I can add some details right there, whether some rocks or plants, but yeah, I will leave it like that. On Friday morning I wanted to try working with background image reference which was actually super helpful. I started by making the car base shape, then giving it some minor tweaks and bends to have more realistic looking parts. Now like I said earlier we're keeping it low poly, otherwise it will take days and weeks. So after texturing this is the final result, I added the shiny ground to reflect the car and add more shadows. The next day I wanted to try making a low poly 3D character so I started by giving the shape of the face and adjusting from all sides. Then I moved to the neck then the body. I adjust a bit the chest area so he looks more human. After that I made him some hands and elbows then finally his legs, knees and feet. I spent more time for adding a little bit of details and edges and I was done with modeling so I moved to texturing, I gave him some basic gray t-shirt and black shorts with black shoes, then I made some eyes for him and this is how the final character model came out, not bad actually, I'm pretty happy with it. And finally, in Sunday and in the final day of the week, I didn't really make something specific so I kept trying and experimenting around different stuff that I've learned in the past week and now to be honest it was really an enjoyable experiment and I learned a lot of things in Blender. There's still a lot of other things like animating and other stuff. So yeah, I recommend you try it out yourselves. Well, I guess that's it for today's video. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and peace out.